together to celebrate love, to celebrate unity, to celebrate family. You have all shared and contributed to David and Liam's lives in the past, and by witnessing this marriage ceremony today, they also ask that you share in their future. Now they say that marriage is a promise made in the hearts of two people who love each other. And it takes a whole lifetime to fulfill, to fulfill marriage. Today you get married, you fulfill marriage every single day of your life. Sunrise is you're together, you're fulfilling marriage every day. Within the circle of his love, marriage encompasses 
all of life's most important relationships. Marriage is also a bond to which a man and a woman who love each other mutually commit themselves to become husband and wife and to fulfill for each other the obligations and duties that decision implies. And those are, among many things, mutual fidelity, respect, consideration, support in good times, but also support in bad times. So support in rainy days, such as just a few minutes ago, but also support in sunny days such as now. In other words, a wife and a husband are each other's lover, each other's teacher, each other's listener, each other's critic, that doesn't make very sense each other all the time, it's being very taken in a good way. But very important, it is to be each other's best friend. And that is a very important word in marriage. And I always make sure that in weddings because people tend to forget that part, you know. <laughs> To think about love and marriage, but in reality, friendship is the base of love, which is the base of marriage. So, always see each other as best friends. I call it the Napolitano ice cream. Uh, the Napolitano <laughs> ice cream has three flavors. So, friendship is the base yeah. of love, and the base of marriage. I heard a colleague that said one day that love is friendship that's gone on fire. So, that's another way of looking at it. Now, it is to this day that friendship. Love and marriage with both David and Leah wish to enter. Am I correct? Yeah. That's another fallacy. Oh. I've seen you before. <laughs> now, there's a point that reads that happiness in marriage is not something that just happens. And I'll explain that one. You don't become happy because you get married. There's a lot of married people who are not happy. There's a lot of married people who are happy. There's a lot of single people who are happy. There's a lot of single people who are not happy. Which means that happiness in marriage, as the point says, is not something that just happens. A good marriage must be created. I mean, it is up to you. You create your happiness by being together. You're the one that has to make it work. You don't have one to have to think of each other. So they say that in the art of marriage, the little things are the big things. Uh, it is never being to all, to all hands. It is remembering to say, I love you at least once a day in different ways. It is at no time taking each other for granted. It is having a mutual sense of values and common objectives. It is standing together facing the world. It is forming a circle of love that gathers the whole family but also very good friends. It is not looking for perfection in each other. It is having the capacity to forgive, but also forget. That thing about I forgive people or forget it just doesn't work in marriage. Forgive and forget. It is a common search for the good and the beautiful. And finally, but not least, it is not marrying the right partner, it is being the right partner. Now, David and Leah, the decision to join matrimony is one of the most important decisions in the life of any human being. A big event is being born, but we don't remember that, our parents do. Living this world is a big event, sad in a way, but we also don't know when that's going to happen. We have no control over that. But getting married is one of those things that you have control over, and it changes your life. A lot of people say the paper really changed your life. Being together changed your life. Signing those documents changed your life. So it is very important that you both make that decision with two elements within yourself, and that's the heart and the mind. Couples who get married, the heart says yes, the sentimental heart says yes, but the mind says no, they may get in trouble around the world. And couples who get married because their mind, the logical aspect says yes, but the heart says no, also get in trouble around the world. So it's very important that uh, there's a unity of mind and heart. It's very important that you learn to know each other. Don't put this as your goal. It, it is a process. You will never know each other. You will never know yourself. So, Getting to know each other is part of the adventure. It's very important. It's very nice and it's an adventure, but uh, it's something that we will never accomplish. Very important is to respect each other's opinions and to yield whenever it's necessary to maintain your union. So every time you see a yield sign back home, always remember that. Yield to each other. That's the key to harmony. I know there are days that you 
10 years. There are some days that you have to stand firm, but those have to be the exceptions. The rule is if you yield to each other, if you have both that interest in each other, you yield to each other, you're going to get less of the difference, get along, there's harmony. Now, there's a number of rights and obligations that arise. I'll just summarize a bit of you, otherwise, we'll be here all night. But some of the responsibilities they can lead at one of them is you have the duty to live together, be faithful to each other, and help each other during your lives. Number two, you shall protect and take care of each other. Number three, each spouse is joint administrator. You have to see each other as a team. You both administrator. Long are the days of the man instead of the house, and whatever the man said, that goes. I, I actually don't believe that everyone will. My grandfather used to think that way, but in reality, he would not want my grandfather wanted. So in reality, but see each other as a team. So all the decisions that you make have to be based on the common good, uh, as long as you think of each other. Now, David and Leah, you have expressed the desire to be united in matrimony. So let us proceed to the most important part. We ask the man of honor to hold the flowers for this moment. And then you guys can face each other. Go ahead. Now look at each other's hands. And feel those hands, press them. David and Leah, remember that those are the hands of your best friend, young and strong, and full of love for you. They're holding yours on your wedding day, as you promise to love each other, today, tomorrow, and forever. Those are the hands that will work alongside yours, as together you build the future. Those are the hands that will hold you, when fear or grief fills your mind. Those are the hands that will countless times wipe the tears from your eyes, tears of sorrow, but also tears of joy. Those are the hands that will help you hold your family as one. Those are the hands that will give you the strength when you need it. And lastly, those are the hands that when we call the age, will still be reaching yours, still giving you the same as fucking terms. We just so touch. Now, oh, David, will you take the um piety? As your wife, will you commit yourself to her happiness? Do you promise to love, honor, and keep her in sickness and in health for richer or for poorer? For better or for worse, to keep pointing to her so long as you both shall live. Do you promise, David? I promise. <laughs> now, Leah, will you take David Tollefson? Yeah, yeah. As your husband, yeah. will you commit yourself to his happiness? Do you promise to love, honor, and keep him in sickness and in health? For richer or for poorer, for better or for worse, to keep pointing to him so long as you go to live. Do you promise, Leah? I promise. I don't remember seeing the shout with the ring this morning right here. Oh, it's a big shout. That guy. <laughs> we take each other's rings. I'll put it on yet. Now, the wedding ring is a symbol of marriage in at least two ways. Unity of goal symbolizes the purity of love. And the unending circle symbolizes eternity. You put these words together, it's eternal love. So it's a symbol of that love you both go down to rings. Look at each other. Leah, with this ring. I pledge my life and I pledge my love to you. Thank you. 
this ring. With this ring. I pledge my life. I pledge my life. And I pledge my love to you. And I pledge my love to you. Oh yes, oh yes. And beloved family and friends, David and Leah have made and exchanged vows and rings to each other before you and before me. I charge you to remind them of the promises they have made to each other today and to help and guide them wherever they need it and ask of you. So all of you who came from different parts of the United States, maybe the world, by being here you have a great responsibility towards them and that is to take care of them, to counsel and to support them. So let us all stand as a sign of your commitment today, today. David and Leah, remember you pledge to each other to be loving friends and partners in marriage, to talk, but mostly to listen, to trust and appreciate one another, to respect and cherish each other's uniqueness, and to support, comfort, and strengthen each other through life, joys, and sorrows. May your home be forever filled with peace, happiness, and love. And so by the power vested in me as an ordained minister, and by the laws of the Commonwealth of Puerto Rico, I now pronounce you esposo y esposa, as friend and wife. With this joy, You may be sitting for just a few more minutes. Oh, I'm just going to do this and sign the documents and then we have to do it. We're not legally on. Can't forget that part. So, would you like me to hold your bouquet while you sign? Let's give a big round of applause to you lot.
And if you want that day out, well, please remain here because the content is going to be right in this area. So, congratulations. Applause for Kevina Gastorius. Thank you. 